Hello Collectors, it's Steven here and welcome to my review of the Nendoroid Mega Man. The Blue Bomber finally has his first Nendoroid and fans everywhere have clamored to pick it up. Mostly. With the recent announcement of the Mega Man X Nendoroid though, some are hesitant to take the dive. So let's take a look to see whether or not this Nendoroid is rocket enough to add to your collection. Looking around at some reference pictures, it doesn't seem like this Mega Man takes after one particular design in the 8-bit era, just the general idea. And thankfully, because of his proportions in that era, this translates well into a Nendoroid. A quick look at Mega Man's dome where you can see that the earmuffs are painted well, specifically the red inside of it, and the decals for the faceplates are applied very nicely. Looking at the body of Mega Man, there's not much to say here because it's just, well, two different shades of blue. Overall, a very simplistic Nendoroid, and it looks nice. Mega Man's articulation is very basic for a Nendoroid. However, because of his design, we get a little bit more leeway. So to start off, we have the neck joint, which is your standard Nendoroid-style joint. You get a swivel hinge, which effectively works as a ball joint, so you can move Mega Man's head around as you see fit. At the shoulders, we have swivels, though do be careful because as you swivel the shoulder around, it may pop off, but thankfully, it can just pop back on. At the elbow, where it would be, we do have swivels, so you can spin them around like so. And then moving down for the wrists, we have swivels once again. So if you want to display Mega Man in any way with his arms or with any of the other option parts, you can do that. The waist, we have a swivel, very basic. And then finishing off the articulation, we have the hip joints, which are also the Nendoroid joints you would normally expect. Now. To keep in mind, Mega Man's feet are at an angle, so this way he automatically has the ankle rocker movement. So keep that in mind when you're displaying Mega Man, and make sure you keep the joints facing outward, so this way you can accommodate for that. Overall, Mega Man has some pretty nice articulation, however it's made even better thanks to the option parts. Moving right along to the accessories, Mega Man actually does come with a Nendoroid support stand. However, as you can see here, it's not necessarily needed to get him to stand. But if you want to be extra safe, all you do is you plug the support arm into the hole on his back. Might be a little difficult to do, but once you do, now you have some extra support for the Blue Bomber. And as with any Nendoroid, he comes with a few extra faces. One angry face and one Defeated face. Oh. Swapping the faceplates out should be easy for most, though it could be difficult for some. And the reason I say that is the front part of the helmet can be a pain to pull off if you're not careful. And the faceplates typically like to stay in there. Yeah, and you got some weird gunk in there. Anyway, the best way to change them, I find, after you pull this off and you slide the faceplate off, is to either slide the faceplate on like so, and then reattach the front part of the helmet, which I've had practice so that was easy to do. Or another way you can do that is when you take the front part of the helmet off, you can just put the faceplate in, line it up, and then push, and you'll be good to go. Just be careful if it's hard to do, don't ham hand it, use a light touch. Moving right along, Mega Man comes with some different hand and arm accessories, and to swap them out, all you have to do is simply remove the different parts, like so, because they're all swivels and I'll show you exactly what parts he comes with. However, when you're swapping parts out, do take note of what part is which, because as you can see here, this can get very confusing after constant swapping and not putting things back in the right place. Yeah, I've been doing that. First up for the hand and arm parts, we get the Mega Buster combination here. This includes a bent right shoulder part and a splayed right hand, the only one we get in the set. There's no left splayed hand, and we get a straightforward left arm with the Mega Buster attachment. And looking at the details on it, it's pretty nice. Small yellow paint applications and red right there at the tip. Now, this is kind of boring to be perfectly honest with you, and it would be nice if we had some other accessories. And thankfully, our video game overlords allowed them to include two energy effect pieces. We get a triple shot here, which... Um, butt plug and then we get a blue charged shot now if you would like to display these with Mega Man we do get some support pieces with this figure remember the support stand from earlier well the base that we get with it is also compatible with this little support arm that we have and all you have to do since it's on ball joints on both ends is attach this ball joint 
onto the effect part by just popping it into the hole on the bottom of either one. And then this ball joint here at the end of the right angle, you work it into one of the smaller holes on the base. Be careful, it's translucent plastic, you don't want to break it. And then once you have the effect part in place, all you have to do is line up Mega Man to take the shot, and there you go. That's a pretty neat looking display. Next up for accessories is this E-Tank that Mega Man comes with. And as you can see, he is indeed holding it, but the way that he's holding onto it is there is a hole in the back of the E-Tank, and he gets a special right-hand part that has this little peg on it. So if you wanted to display the E-Tank without Mega Man holding onto it, maybe being picked up by another character or whatever, you can do so. Finally, for the standard release of Mega Man, we get these two arm parts right here that make it look like Mega Man's holding his arms up, and we get two alternate pairs of legs, so this way it looks like he is jumping. Now, something else that I really didn't make mention to you, he comes with two sets of fists. Yes, I've been using them interchangeably throughout this review. Why? I don't know. He just does. So, that is the entire standard release of Mega Man package, and I gotta say, it's pretty good. However, if you manage to order this through the Good Smile Company online shop back when it was first released, or through any reissues, you received this special screen which shows Mega Man blowing up. Yeah, the little energy thing that pops up at the end when he dies. Now, normally you'd say like, oh, okay, this is just a small, neat little extra. However, no. You had to pay full MSRP for this. Yeah, this little sheet thing with all of Mega Man. And the thing is, <clears throat> it comes with this little protective sheet of plastic that goes on top of it. You can you can even see right here on the sheet of paper that it comes with, it says, remove protective sheet before use. Except for there's one problem with it, and you can kind of see it here. I had to turn the light on my camera for this. It's still marked up right there. Quality control issue. Yes, limited edition bonus that isn't even all that perfect. <laughs> but to be perfectly honest, you're not really going to be looking at this up close, and it's going to be displayed far away. So, is it an issue? Yes, it is, because you're paying money for this but it really isn't. So at the end of the day, you don't necessarily need to pick this up from the Good Smile Company online shop because the bonus is eh, all right, but not worth full MSRP. Overall though, Mega Man is a nice little package and fans of the Blue Bomber will appreciate this. Just be careful with swapping out the face plates because that front of the helmet is gonna be a real pain and I've almost snapped the pegs a few times. Finally for this review, a size comparison with Mega Man alongside some of his Smash Brothers allies or foes depending on how you look at things. So, as you can see, Mega Man is the standard size Nendoroid. So, buy it now, skip it, or wait for a deal. Mega Man looks simple enough to the point that you don't really have to worry about QC issues and the like, just the proportions, and the only thing to worry about is if it really does fit the older feel of Mega Man. This tends to vary from person to person. Articulation and accessories are just fine, but swapping parts can be frustrating, and I wouldn't be surprised if some break this little guy over time just because of a small slip of the hand, not because of production issues like the D-Arts. <clears throat> Overall, it's a nice figure, and Rockman fans will definitely enjoy it, whether it's for a Smash display or just because it's Mega Man. Realistically speaking, you can't be wrong with this purchase. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Check out more of my videos by clicking the thumbnails on the screen now, and check the description for lots of cool stuff. You're an awesome viewer, and I'll catch you in the next video.